Hello everyone, Simicraft here, and welcome to a uh, let's play of uh, Pokemon Scarlet. Uh, specifically, uh, this is meant to be a sort of challenge let's play. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar, I don't have a ton of experience with the Pokemon games. Uh, I played Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and attempted to play, beat that game without catching Pokemon. Uh, and this is my second Pokemon game, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna see if maybe I can beat this game without catching Pokemon as well. I have no idea what to expect. I haven't followed the press for this game at all. It's possible that this challenge might be completely untenable. Like, not even slightly possible, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Uh, and in all likelihood, this will be, uh, just so y'all are aware, this will probably be a series wherein... I'm probably not gonna have a huge backlog of, backlog of videos, so if you have any advice in the comments on things I need to do and watch out for and any pitfalls I need to avoid for this challenge, please, by all means, leave them in the comments. Because I am not prepared for this, honestly. But, uh, well, let's get into this. I see no reason not to continue the story of our previous protagonist, so that means, uh, welcome back to the great, wonderful, best Pokemon trainer in the world, Lizzie. Uh, okay. Oh, we can change hairstyles. Let's take a look at that. Oh, there is a lot of hair. So we've got shortcuts. Eh. Side fade. Eh. Short bob. Okay, that's that's not bad. Long and straight. Eh. I'm not sure if it's just a me thing. I don't really like how that doing how, how this game renders the like super strandy hairs. Yeah, this. Oh, that's cute. A ponytail. I should probably actually get the ponytail portion before judging that. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I'm the biggest fan of the cornrows. Pompadour. Nah. 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 And honestly, we're probably going to go through all of these, and then it's probably just going to be... I, I don't like any hairstyles that make it look like you have Mickey Mouse ears. Just a personal preference thing. Okay, um... <laughs> why do you have the... <laughs> why does this specific... Uh, okay, I was gonna say, it looked like this specific haircut came with, like... Really tired... Looking eyes. Uh... I don't know, we might, we might just go with the typical side braid. Doesn't defend me, at least. Uh, it's gonna have to be either that, or maybe... I, I didn't... And long, no, I didn't like long straight. What did I like? Was it short bob? Mm. Short bob is fairly pretty. I don't know. And it doesn't really matter to... Definitely not this one. Uh, I've got the long bob. Mm. And this one's not bad. It's a bit generic, though, for my tastes today. Granted, I mean, can, this is the default one, so I guess that... Probably makes it generic, and I don't really like how it looks from the back necessarily, and that's you know, probably a pretty common. That's a pretty common sight in a third-person game, so really that's how we should be uh, uh, assessing this. Long bob, eh. how about the short bob, eh? This also looks uh, similar to our Lizzie from uh, Pokemon Let's Go e Eevee, so you know what? We'll go with the long bob. How about that? And obviously we're going for the blonde hair. Yeah. Jeez, there's a lot of colors of hair. We could do, go for lavender. We could go for scarlet. It is Pokemon Scarlet, eh? Eh, eh? But, nah, nah. Denim blue. <laughs> Denim blue hair. Now we're just going for the platinum blonde. Okay, great. Do you like to go with the style? Yes. Uh, and I can change look, whatever the heck that means. Oh, eye shape. Uh, what are the eye shapes? I'll be honest, I don't see a huge difference in between, like... Like, half of them, to me, look basically identical. But that being said, I do think I liked four. Or was it five? Hold on. So, one, two, three, four, five, six... Let's go for four. Nah, let's not go for four. Uh, I don't know. Like, I've got... S yeah. 
Yeah, we're, we're going for four. Okay, great. Oh my goodness. Uh, we can color the contacts, but no, this is already... What? This is already the perfect eye color. Blue-gray. Could you do light blue with gold pupils? That is just strange. Okay, um... Yeah. No offense if that's your actual, like, style. That's too blue. That is too blue. We're going for blue-gray. Uh, okay. Eyelashes. I don't care that much, do I? Uh, so we got that. We got... Mm -mm. Too much. Not enough. Yeah, I'm not sure I like just the side. That's too much. Is that down? I don't even know what those ones are. Uh, eh, mm, mm. eh, no. You know what? I think this one's the best. <laughs> yes, this one right here. Okay, great. Moving on. Eyelash color, perfect. Uh, eyebrow shape. Eyebrows, great. Um, I don't know. And their eyebrows. Yeah. Where's the unibrow option? <laughs> I kind of liked Brow B, like this one, Brow B no, version 3. Uh, eyebrow color, perfect as is. Oh, wait, you, you, wait, what was eyelash color? It's, wait, so we could change the color of the, uh, oh, huh. I don't even know, like, what would be the correct eyelash color to have here. That just looks weird as an eyelash color. And it seems to me something that isn't black just looks weird in this instance. Uh, we'll just go with the, we'll go with black. Okay. Now we're to eyebrow color, which we want to keep as is. Mouths. There's different mouths. Okay. We've got mouth. Man, character customization. Hope you all came here to this Pokemon video for. I kind of like three. Four's not bad. Four makes it look a bit more like mischievous. Or mischievous. We'll go with three. Uh, lip color. No color. I don't know. If I probably want to go for anything too crazy. Just like a pale pink. Just give it something. A little bit of something. Just a bit more definition. Uh, not really sure we're gonna go for beauty spots, but we can look at them, look at our options. Eh. I could be persuaded to get like three, maybe, but eh. We'll keep it plain. Freckles! Yeah, we'll go. I mean, think any of the freckles too, or no freckles. I think we'll just go no freckles. And we're back to eye shape. Okay, great. Yes. All right, cool. We're ready. You can't change your language or name after starting the game. Let's go, Lizzie. Enrollment application. Naranja, Naranja Academy. Language English. Name, Lizzie. Let's go. Enrollment complete. Whenever you see now saving on the screen, your progress is being automatically saved. You can disable that somewhere. Man, how's Pokemon text going by too fast for me to read? Naranja Academy. Now, is it intentional that it's like close to Ninja, but it's taking lessons from tradition, growing stronger and greater. Okay. So we're going to Pokemon Hogwarts. Good to know. It's time for you two to dive into the world of Pokemon. Is this like a university promotion I'm looking at in-universe or? No. Director Clavel, head of 
Naranja Academy. Paldea is a sprawling region, bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. It is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokemon. They reside here in the great numbers, in fact. What the heck is that thing? It looks like a teddy bear. But strange. Are you the wannabe Pikachu of this generation? Pokemon can be found living all over in the seas and the skies, even in our cities and towns. We humans coexist with Pokemon as we both help one another to live and thrive. Naranja Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. And as Pokemon trainers, they have their Pokemon do battle, growing alongside them. While our robust curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential, it is within these halls that you will find your friends, your Pokemon, and your true self. We, the faculty and staff at Naranja Academy, can't wait to welcome you with open arms. Oh, what have we here? Is that a flying motorcycle? Pokemon Scarlet! Only took us like 12 minutes to get to the title screen. Uh, that's my fault. My apologies. But you gotta, you gotta look good for Pokemon. Hmm. Okay, those are just normal flamingos. Game Freak, you're cheating now. You're just cheating. It's, it's called plagiarism from real life. Look it up. So I'm trying to decide if this Pokemon here is, is it good news or is it a harb like a harbinger of destruction? Cause I could go either way for that. Looks like it crashed though, so. Yeah, that's probably fine. Man. Look at those uh parrots rocking like Is that like a Pompadour technically? <laughs> I was gonna say mullet, but that's definitely not a mullet, because that's very much a party in the front. Oh, we are now saving. Trying to figure out what real life locale this region is supposed to represent. That map almost makes it look like it's supposed to be Iberia, but I doubt that's the case. I guess we'll find out though. Oh, we got a switch. Looks like, oh, oh, not just a switch. We got the OLED. Well, well, well. Do I have like a badge on my arm? Huh. Anything to say about this switch? No? no? It's a map of. The Paldea region. This house would be down in the lower part. Okay. So on like the south coast of Paldea. Anything to say about the Switch? It's a new Nintendo Switch system. This one's got a bigger screen. Hmm. Interesting. It's your very own wardrobe adorned with Pokemon stickers. I wonder what are the ramifications of Nintendo being confirmed to exist within the Pokemon world. Like that is what I want to see. Today on... Cute adventures, we'll see. Mezagaza, a city that's home to a well-known academy. A, uh, oops, better get going. Uh, is that where we're headed? Your mom built these shelves herself. They're neatly decorated with your belongings. Mm hmm okay. What's going on over here? I'll say the camera movements are a bit jerky as I'm moving out my room. It's a Squavit plush made with care using nice soft materials. Like, I have to say, um... Oh. We get independent camera control. That's cool. Kind of. This does not look safe. Like, I mean, I, I'm a... I'm not even sure what age I am. I feel like I look older than in other Pokemon games, but I'm not sure. Your bag and hat are hanging here, but it's not time to get ready yet. Yeah, it's not... Yeah. Your adventure guide. You can press the X button to open the main menu. Select the save option from this menu to save all the progress you've made on your adventure so far. When you open up your bag, you'll find some key items inside, including your adventure guide. Check it out whenever you want to review handy tips like these that you receive along your adventure. 
Okay. I have to say though, while I do like this design of the staircase, I guess okay, the railing looks reasonable on the staircase itself. But like up here, like this is a this isn't even to like knee height, or maybe it's just about at knee height. Like this is not childproof at all. Uh, it's one of your mom's house plants. Careful not to knock it over. It also causes the void to, to swallow the world. Okay. What have we got here? A muncha! Or at least that's what it was saying. These cardboard boxes sure are heavy for being so small. What could be inside? Books. This artwork is entitled Patchwork Light. It's got different colors of paper pasted together. This painting is entitled Before Juicing. It just emanates freshness. Okay. It's a big plant in a big vase. There are flowers blooming on it. I'd say out of it, but yeah. Semantics, really. Ooh, what have we here? This painting is entitled Street Midday. It depicts a beautiful town in a different region. Hmm. All right, Pokemon nerds, tell me. What town, what region? Go. Okay. Ooh, what have we here? It's a couch, or perhaps a sofa. It's Squaw Squavit's bed. There are drool stains on it. Mm. Come on down to every which way, every kind of sandwich, any way you want it. Our subs are handmade by pros and perfect for picnics. I'm surprised that isn't an actual chain of like foods, like restaurants. That, that actually sounds like a great name for something like that. Lots of flowers are blooming in the backyard. Let's go in here. This room is just used for storage. You don't need to go in. I never said I needed to. I want to, though, is the thing. Anything to say about the lamp? No, it's just the lamp. Okay. I wish I could, like, 360 around, but I'm guessing I can't because there's not actually a wall here. Hello, Squ Squavitz, whatever your name is. It, it's saying Muncha. It's munching on... I don't know. Oh, look. Good morning, Lizzie. Oh, already in your uniform and everything. Well, it is your first day at your new school, after all. The resemblance is uncanny, honestly. I wonder if the mom's appearance changes depending on what you make your appearance. I'm so excited for you. Still, you might want to cool your engines before you go racing out the door. The school contacted me and said that you're supposed to wait here a little while longer. Their words, not mine. Apparently there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived. Yeah. Supply chain issues, I bet. Maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for. Lizzie, get the door, would you? Alright, sure thing. Mom, how can I run? I'd like to run to the door. Show that I'm... That's... Not the run button. Is there a run button? I, I haven't found one yet. Oh, who are we here? Do forgive the intrusion. You are Miss Lizzie, yes? On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents. Ah, and also for my delay in introducing myself. I am the director of Naranja Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. The director? And you came in person to help my daughter with her first day? Well, I am responsible for the entire academy, including any failures on its part, like your daughter. Ha ha ha, I jest. She's doing fine. Probably. So here, at last, are the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. My mother's very stone-faced. Never mind. Goodness, you really needn't have... Since you've come all this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? Ah, uh, no need to trouble yourself. Lizzie, I've got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Why don't you head back up to your room and finish getting ready for school? You'll need your bag and your hat as well. My hat? I'm going to ruin my amazing hair. I spent way too long picking out. Now, Mr. Clavel, you simply must join me for a cuppa this way. 
Well, how can I refuse such a kind offer? Ah. Such great hospitality on Mom's part. How are you doing? I know you just told me to, like, buzz off, but... Is your room upstairs? No need to concern yourself with me. Go on. Okay, okay, fine. Fine, I'll, I'll go to my room. Very patiently walking up the stairs, only slightly phasing through the stairs as we go. Alrighty. I should turn off this TV. This is wasteful. There we go. Um, uh, let's see. There we go. My stuff. Ready to put on your hat and grab your bag. Nah. It's too much responsibility. I gotta, like, prepare myself. Have I examined my bed yet? Oh, you know what? I'll just put on the hat and bag. How about that? Alright. Not bad. You can press the X button to open the main menu. Select the save option from this menu to save all the progress you've made on your adventure so far. When you open up your bag, you'll find some key items inside, including your adventure guide. Check it out whenever you want to review handy tips like these that you receive along your adventure. Okay. Nice, nice. Yeah, when I was looking at it before, I thought it was like more of like an adventuring bag sort of thing, but now it just looks like a normal like school backpack. Hey, I got my stuff. Man, that ad's still on? Is it an infomercial? Oh, just look at you, all ready for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of our stored academy suits you quite well indeed. Oh, gracious, how very careless of me. I had entirely forgotten that I have something else for you, Miss Lizzie. A most important thing. But your living room is hardly the place for it. Uh, would you care to follow me outside? Ooh, am I gonna get a Pokemon? It's probably not gonna be as good as an Eevee, but I'm looking forward to it. I wonder what this important thing might be. Let's follow the director out and see, shall we? Okay. Let's go. Eevee? <laughs> nah, it doesn't work anymore. That that was last season. This is this season. There's a lot of Pokemon games on Switch. There's this one, the Sword and Shield. Let's go, Eevee. I, didn't they also do like Brilliant Diamond or something? That's a lot. Lots of options, I guess. Alright then, dear Pokemon. Time to come out of your Pokeballs. Ah. Hmm. Well, 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 what have we here? We provide each student entering the academy a Pokemon of their own. I'll ask you to choose which among these three you'd like to have as your partner. Brigatito, the grass cat Pokemon. Spur. Mm hmm. Fue Coco, the fire croc Pokemon. And Quaxley, the duckling Pokemon. It pumps, apparently. They're all very good company. Why, they usually refuse to even leave my side. Aw, oh, look at those cute little babies. What's this? Hmm, so it turns out they're more interested in you, Miss Lizzie, than familiar old me. I do wish I could stay and see which one you'll choose, but I must be off to my next home visit. I'll be at that just over there. Take your time with your decision, then come find me once your mind is made up. Now, if you'll excuse me. Until next we meet. Alright, you three. What a mannerly fellow that director of yours is. These three are all lovely, but you need to choose just one, right? Not an easy task. Why not take this opportunity to walk about with these little ones and get to know them? I'm sure they have lots to teach you. Oh, but before you go, I got you a little something to celebrate your big day. Take it with you if you're going out on your own. Oh, what what is it? A Rotom phone. A Rotom phone. You put the Rotom phone in your bag's key items pockets. The Rotom phone, the latest model of smartphone, a Pokemon called the Rotom, lives within it, and it can be used to run all sorts of handy apps. It's a brand new phone. 
According to the instructions, you can check the map app by pressing the Y button. And it rhymes, which makes it even better. The map app. It'll help you from... It'll help keep you from getting lost, so take good care of your new gadget, okay? Now off you go. Have fun. Thanks, Mom. Okay, um... Hello, little Pokemons. So, so, so what's your deal, little croc dude? Okay. He seems happy. Quaxel. Sorry, I'm trampling you. My apologies. And I... Okay. Taking a stroll through the garden, see if there's anything useful. I Can we examine, like, the plants and stuff? No, no, it doesn't seem to be as examined happy as the interior was. Also, there's gotta be a way to run in this game. There's gotta be. This walk speed is too darn slow. Look at me, though. Look at Lizzie and these amazing little Pokemans. It's adorable. You got the ocean over there. Oh, what do you have to say, little guy? Anything in of interest over here? You found something? Little croc? No, you, you just like being a little happy dude? Okay. Oh, what's this? A Pokeball. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I accidentally zoomed out? Jeez, I've zoomed far out. Okay. Interesting. A potion, a spray type medicine for treating wounds. It can be. Probably works the same way as Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Okay. Given that. Oh, and by the way, yes, so, as I've previously stated, it's a little storage room behind the kitchen. Shovels, fertilizer, and other stuff inside. Okay, great. Can I go inside? No. Um. So the only Pokemon game I've played up to this before now is uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. So I'm I'm aware that game is somewhat mechanically different from normal Pokemon games. So if there's anything I need to know about this game. Again, I'm doing these videos on the Let's Play channel. At least initially are, are probably going to be pretty close to real time. Uh, especially given the game just came out. So if you have any advice for me, you Pokemon veterans, you Pokemon nerds, do leave it in the comments. I appreciate any help I can get, because, uh, yeah. Especially, I, the, the one thing that has me kind of paranoid is in Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, there were a bunch of, like, gym requirements of, like, oh, you need to have, like, this type of Pokemon to get in the gym and stuff. I'm not sure if this game has that or not. If it does, then, like, I definitely want to make sure I don't, uh, accidentally, like, ruin my chances effectively <laughs> by like picking the wrong Pokemon but I don't have any info right now because the game like came out yesterday uh, at time of recording so yeah Cabo Poco the croc seems quite friendly I don't even know where the duck went yeah well I guess someone's not getting picked oh, how did I run just now I'm confused Why, why am I all of a sudden now running? Okay, I'll, I'll take it. Why, hello there. The power of science! The power of science is amazing! If you connect with your friends, you can head out on adventures together up to four of you at a time. Okay. I think that's more so the power of, like, friendship, but whatever. And I guess power of friendship is a bit cliche anyway, so... I don't blame them for making it the power of science. But let's be honest, power of science isn't much less cliche. Ooh, we got a Pokeball. How useless. Um, that's over here. Nothing of note. Okay. Up to the mansion. Is my house that this nice? It's not not nice, I'll say. It's not a mansion, though. Well then. Oh. Uh, I've lost the Pokemons. Okay, we got the water type hanging out in the water. Mm 
Hmm. Cat's thing really likes the flowers, it would seem. And this thing... Are you gonna eat it? Ooh, that, that seems like a bit of a hazard. Oh, who are you? Are you my rival? Are you these... Three's trainer? Not quite. Miss Lizzie has yet to make her choice, you see. I do wonder which of them she will choose as her first Pokemon. Oh. This got serious all of a sudden. Alright. Um, which one will we pick? Which one indeed? What? Buenas? Is that, that the greeting here? Buenas, we haven't met, have we? I must say, I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. Hang on, Director. Is this who I think it is? How do you not know me? We live right next door to each other. Yes, this is our Academy's newest student, Miss Lizzie. She'll be attending as of, of today. Uh, maybe, maybe this is someone who works at the Academy. I jumped to conclusions, my apologies. So you're that kid who moved in up the road. Oh, never mind. I was right. I've been dying to find out more about you. I'm Nimona. Nimona. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm Nimona. Normally, I live in the school dorms. But home is here. What do you say, new neighbor? Wanna be friends? Yes. I kind of want to see what no would be, but... I'm also trying to be optimal. Love that enthusiasm. We are going to get along just fine. Miss Nimona is president of our student council and a champion ranked trainer in her own rights. I absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now. You and me. Easy now. You two will be in the same class, so you'll have plenty of time to battle later. And you and get to know one another better, of course. We're gonna be neighbors and classmates. Nice, we'll be able to battle all we want. Very violent, this girl. On that note, Miss Lizzie. Have you decided which of these Pokemon you would like to be your first partner? Um, hold on, anything, I'm, I'm I, hold on, I just saw a Pokemon. Wait, Lizzie, you gotta choose a Pokemon! Oh, that, that's fair. Um, okay, fine. I, I want the cats. Give me the cats. That's Sprigita, Sp Sprigatito, Sprigatito, a grass-type Pokemon. It can use its plant powers to soak up whatever water you throw at it. Would you like to go with our good grass type pokemon sprigatito here yes spare you chose sprigatito would you like to give sprigatito a nickname I f nah it's sprigatito we got sprigatito is cool i guess sprigatito Okay. We have a Sprigatito. Sprigatito seems to have taken quite a liking to you, Miss Lizzie. This is your first Pokemon, yes? Please raise it with love and care. And of course, be sure to keep it tucked safely inside a Pokeball. Lizzie, I can't believe you actually chose Sprigatito. What? I mean, like, way to make the perfect choice for you. You two make such a good combo. Oh. Well, I'm glad she approves. Can I choose one of these Pokemon too, Director Clavel? Oh, but did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the Academy, Miss Nimona? Not back then, no. I had other Pokemon I was focused on raising at the time. 
But now I would raise a new Pokemon alongside Lizzie while she raises her own new partner. Indeed, a rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing with Miss Lizzie here, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes! Okay. Since Lizzie chose Sprigatito, I'll go for this little one. Nice to meet you, Quaxley. Welcome to the team. Uh, uh, pump, pump. All right, then. Now that we've chosen our Pokemon, we have to battle. I'll be waiting for you down at the beach. Come join me when you're ready. Luckily, she chose one that's uh, weak to mine. As you may have noticed, Miss Nimona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling. But I do hope you'll join her for a battle. It will help you get to know your own Pokemon as well. <laughs> 